All right, we're live again. I, in case you just tuned in 10 minutes ago, I was having some technical difficulties with my stream. Welcome to the second ever live YouTube stream of jeffmobile.com, coming to you from beautiful Vancouver, BC, Canada, here in uh, Shaughnessy, in the neighborhood of Vancouver. Very excited to be using the Ricoh Theta S camera, using a 360 camera to stream this 360 video live to you from my living room in uh, Vancouver. So if you are leaving any comments to this video, I will open up the chat so you, I can see your chats uh, as they come in and I can even respond in real time to what you questions you may ask me about 360 video. So today I'm going to be talking for about maybe five minutes about the possibilities of 360 video technology, it's, it, when it, especially when it comes to live streaming. So please let me know. I'll just close the door for someone's coming in. Um, the 360 video is a really amazing technology because it allows people to have a feeling of presence. Uh, the traditional camera has one lens that it aims at a particular screen or viewpoint in a box or rectangle. 360 camera uses two fisheye lenses on both sides. Some use more lenses to capture the entire room around you in, in real time and it stitches it together. So if you look at any part of this image, if you're in YouTube or Google, you can move your phone around or drag the player to look around the room. And this is a really incredible idea because then eventually when people have virtual reality headsets, they'll be able to put them on and then come into this room with me and experience a live event in real time. And that's kind of the ultimate application of this technology that I see that I'll be able to bring a camera such as the Ricoh Theta S, the one I'm filming on right now, I'll be able to bring that to a concert or a live show or a talk or an event and people will be able to watch it in real time using virtual reality. The idea of being somewhere else will be so much easier with a VR headset. So I haven't seen any chats with anybody. If anyone wants to leave a comment, tell me that you're watching, it'd be really cool. Um, so I guess I'll give a bit of a background of how I discovered this uh, technology. So yesterday I was taking the bus home from work. I, I work downtown and I live about a 20 minute bus ride away. So I was just got on the bus and I thought I'd open up my phone to check what was on my phone. And YouTube had posted a little notification for me saying that, yes, you are, uh, one of my people I follow and subscribe on YouTube is now streaming live from South Korea. And at the time it was 7 p.m. in Vancouver, so it was around in the morning time in South Korea. And my the people I follow are named Corey and Marie. They're a really nice couple from South Korea who speak English. And they were taking their camera around the Korean Women's University and as well as a, a delicious street food market. So I was streaming this using my phone, using mobile data, sitting on a moving bus on my way home from work, listening to it on a Bluetooth headphones. And I, I was able to sort of experience what the future might be like for people who are, um, you know, streaming video on their phones. Because you'll be able to, anyone can broadcast live to anyone else. It's quite an amazing thing. So when I came home today, I thought I would just try to make use of the camera that I bought a year ago, the amazing technology called the uh, Ricoh Theta S camera. And this camera is the one I'm shooting this live video on right now. It is a camera that is a 360 camera that does have a live streaming capability. I think the camera costs around $400. It's still fairly affordable considering the, uh, the newness and the innovativeness of the technology. So what happened was this morning I was investigating how to do this. I found a really good tutorial on how to set up the Ricoh Theta S for live streaming on YouTube. It did take me about an hour to set it up. So I put a link to that tutorial in the description to this video below. And it is quite exciting to, uh, to try it out today. So this is my first ever vlog. I was able to figure out the issues I had with the sound problems earlier. The issue I had was that I was actually recording with two different microphones at once, as well as the desktop audio, and it was messing up the sound quality. So this one should be better. And this, the tool I'm using, I'm using some software, one called the uh, Theta S um, Blender, and then I'm using one called the um, OBS, which is a live streaming software, which is a open source free software. And then YouTube has to set up this thing called the Broadcast uh, Center and enable live streaming for your YouTube account. So it's, it's somewhat involved to get it set up, but it is possible to do it now. You have to check this little settings box if you want to stream in 360 for these settings um, for 360 to enable that. 
and then also set up the configure the amount of size of the video sc screen to make sure that it maps correctly to the 360 video stream. In any case, it's very cool and exciting to use this technology and I just wanted to give you a bit of a taste of the 360 streaming and what's possible in full 1080. If you want to see a higher quality stream, go down to that little gear icon in your bottom left corner of the video and choose 1080. You'll see it is a bit more clear. Um, as well, I want to just, if you're curious about this room, this painting here is a beautiful painting done by my brother, uh, Byron, and he painted this when he was in doing his, math, his uh, Bachelor's of Fine Arts. And I really like it. I think it's a wonderful uh, painting. So yeah, I, another thing to think about is what it feels like to be talking live on camera because usually I'm used to recording a video and having that processed and edited and then published. So live streaming is a, a whole different story. You kind of have to really be dynamic and flow on your feet and it's something that I'm not really used to. So it seems quite a bit nervous to do this kind of live streaming. But I'm very excited about getting more comfortable. I probably will do maybe a weekly live show on the weekend so you can kind of hear some latest things I'm talking about. I guess in terms of current events, this being November 5th, 2016, the uh, US presidential election is next week. So that is something that in Canada we're watching quite closely. And, uh, you know, it is, it's very, very divided. The country is very divided in the US. It seems like many, many people like either Trump or Hillary, and there's not much of a common ground between them. So it's just sort of everything is, is hinging upon that decision. We're looking forward to seeing what's going to happen and we can only kind of see remotely and hope for the best. Whatever happens, I hope that the world and the US and Canada will be for the better for all of that happening. So for everyone in the US who's tuning in, I hope you go out and vote next week and make sure that we participate in the democracy and help to make your country what you want it to be. And so I'll sign off this video now. Thanks again for tuning in. I don't see any comments from anyone yet, so uh, maybe I didn't have any viewers, but this video will be posted after the fact on my channel for people to watch. And uh, once again, thanks again for tuning in. Uh, this is Jeff from jeffmobile.com in Vancouver, BC, Canada streaming this video on the Ricoh Feta S camera. I'll talk to you next time and uh, in this experiment in live streaming. I hope it turned out well. I hope you enjoyed this video and after the fact, please leave your comments below as well. I look forward to chatting with you about the possibilities of virtual reality 360 video live streaming. Now that's all for now. Have a great day and I'll sign off this stream. Please tune in next weekend for another episode of Jeff Mobile Live, uh, coming to you from Vancouver, BC, Canada. Take care.